Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on Larry's Telegram channel called Tartaria and History Channel. Please check the description to know more about his channel. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite have erased and remake the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. In Thailand, there is the famous temple of Wat Prapang Muni. It houses one of the most curious Buddhist shrines, the mummified bodies of two humanoid creatures unknown to science. Believers claim that these are the bodies of Buddhist fairies Kumbhand. These mummies are tiny humanoid creatures with strange heads resembling a flower bud. Buddhist fairies are perfectly preserved. On their faces, you can see the eyes, mouth and nose. The size of each mummy does not exceed the length of the finger of an adult, and on their heads, there is something resembling a headdress. Pictures of the fairies are only permitted to be taken by certain individuals. What do you think? John Hyde, director of Manchester Institute for Research and Innovation in Art and Design at MMU, has taken a series of photographs which he says depict humanoid-shaped creatures. The photos were taken in the Rossendale Valley, Lancashire, and showed no evidence of tampering. John said, it was a bit of a shock when I blew them up, I did a double take. I went out afterwards and took pictures of flies and gnats, and they just don't look the same. People can decide for themselves what they are. The message to people is to approach them with an open mind. I think it's one of those situations where you need to believe to see. A lot of people who have seen them say they have brought a little bit of magic into their lives, and there's not enough of that around. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learn something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Achapaya have been dismissed as simple fairy stories, but, in Maoridom, they were, and are, very real. Could they be the missing link in an intriguing mystery about travelers who may have stumbled on New Zealand even before the Maori? Most cultures have myths and legends of strange human-like beings who create mischief and mayhem for mortals. The Irish have their leprechauns, the Nordic people have their trolls, and, in New Zealand Maori have Pachapair. These mysterious fair-skinned beings were known by various names, and stories about them are common in most tribal histories. They were said to have lived deep in the forests on the high slopes of Taranaki and other mountains, only venturing out at night or on misty days. According to many traditional legends, these people did not cook their food and could not tolerate sunlight. What do you think? Legends describe the Menahun as a race of people who were only three feet tall. They are said to have lived in Hawaii before settlers arrived from Polynesia many centuries ago. When new settlers arrived, they went into hiding, only coming out at night. They possessed great skills of craftsmanship and built temples, fishpins, roads, canoes, and houses. Some of these structures that Hawaiian folklore attributed to the Menahune still exist, which are unusual, as they are made with stones cut and placed in a way unlike anything else built in ancient Hawaii. There are numerous references to Menahune listed in the Hawaiian census of 1820, conducted in Kaiai's Winneha Valley of 2,000 people, of which 65 were Menahune. There are still reports and sightings of Menahune today in the forests and mountains. What do you think?
1869, November 11th, The Desert News. We have seen it stated that the skeletons of five gigantic human beings were found in grading a railroad about 20 miles from the spot in which this was found. One of them measured 11 feet in length. A human body removed from a cemetery some years ago in that vicinity was said to have turned to stone. There seems to be great diversity of opinion among the scientific men in relation to it. The state geologist says, there is no authentic instance of petrified flesh, nor can there be in the nature of things, but he acknowledges that this new wonder is the most stupendous marvel ever found on this or any other continent. What do you think? By the way, here we have a couple of interesting atmospheric electricity-related patents I ran into. These come from the late 1800s. I have never seen so many patents created since that time, many owned by the US government and other governments too. It's as if they had to lock down our energy means completely, so let's get all the inventions out of the way now. Once they had the patent, nobody could use it, which is what it was all about. Control of energy is control of knowledge, which is power. What do you think? Mount Asgard and Mount Thor, located in Canada. Natives of many different lands used to refer to mountains like these as fallen trees. I'm just imagining giant leaves falling which would crush us today, but I'd say, back then we were much bigger. What do you think? Anyway, Daniel 4.23. And whereas the king saw a watcher and a holy one coming down from heaven and saying, Hew the tree down and destroy it, yet leave the stump of the roots thereof in the earth, even with a band of iron and brass, in the tender grass of the field, and let it be wet with the dew of heaven, and let his portion be with the beasts of the field, till seven times pass over him. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end. I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.